Hey guys, um, today is just gonna be my, oh wait, you know, I don't know, it's not technically like, I don't know if it should be my December favorites, because it's kind of a new year, and obviously can't be my January favorites, because January just started, this is just gonna be some stuff that I've been liking, because I haven't made a video of like, sharing some stuff that I have been finding good recently, so I just kind of decided to do it now. Um, also the contest, the comment contest entry thing, that just ended yesterday, um, I'm gonna, within the next few days, I'll have the video up giving a little shout out, so, yeah, hold on for that. Um, okay, so stuff I've been liking, let's see, alright, so the first thing that I've been liking is the Clarisonic, um, I got this quite recently actually, but um, I can already see results in it. It's really, really, really expensive. Like, I think it's overpriced, really, but it's the only thing of, I mean, there's like dupes, like duplicates for it. But from what I've read, this one just works the best. Um, it's a really good, it's a face cleaner. You can like, and um, it makes your skin more glowy, it clears it up. If you have any scars or discoloration on your face, it just kind of gets rid of it. And it's just a really, really good. I have the pink one. This is a two-speed, and I love it. I think. I mean, I'll see how it works in the future if it's, like, a savior type of thing. But right now, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Um, I've been enjoying my iPod, which I just recently charged. And I have this case from, I don't remember what the store's called. I think it's, like, Lucky or something. I don't usually shop there, so I don't remember what it's called, but I got this case that's for an iPhone, and it doesn't fit it, but I like it anyways. Um, okay, so scents and stuff. I think that Harajuku Lover's Love smells really good. Um, just a really sweet, nice smell. And then my all-time favorite perfume, hold on, is, look at how messy my bed is. Um, Escada Moon Sparkle. This stuff smells really good. It is just, I can't describe it, but I think they have this at Sephora still, and you should just try it because it smells really great. Um, okay. So, on to some cosmetic related items. Um, okay. So, usually I use Bare Minerals if I'm wearing minerals that day, and I found that it's just a little bit like. It's a little bit cakey on my skin. I don't really know what type of skin I have because I just I can't figure it out. So anyways, I like I was like, oh no way, am I ever gonna try bare bare minerals matte because like I don't like a matte finish on my skin. But then I like saw some reviews and read some stuff about it, and I decided you know maybe I should give it a try. And I got it, and also because my regular bare minerals is too dark for my skin now, so I got this one in a shade lighter, and um I really like it because. Oh shoot, I'm missing something. Um, it's matte, yes, but my skin does usually get oily um, during the day, and this prevents that. And it looks really natural, like if I just wear it by itself, it doesn't look like I have anything on my face, and usually you can tell. So this is really good because of that. Um, this also looks really nice if you wear it over some type of like glowy product underneath, like either like a brightening primer or tinted moisturizer, like the Laura Mercier illuminating tinted moisturizer is like super, super, super illuminating, there's like a lot of shimmer in it and it looks crazy on its own, but if you wear it underneath this, it like gives you like a glow from underneath and it looks really, really, really nice, I might make a video on it, maybe, okay, um, next, let's see, Another powder that's really great is the Mineral Eye Skin Finish from MAC. Mine is in medium. Um, this is just a good powder. I have it on my face right now, and I tried to block out the bright window lighting. I had my blinds down and everything, but it's still a little bit washed out, unfortunately. But here it is. Um, you can see that. It looks nice. And I really like this powder. I think a lot of people have it. But if you don't, you should look into it. But whenever before you buy something, you should always try it out in the store to make sure that you like it first. Because everything works differently on everyone. 
And then there's like this little Eco Tools brush, um, this Eco Tools brush, which is just a small little brush you can get from Target. You don't get it on its own; it comes in a set. This is really great for just like um, putting on powder, like the mineralized skin finish, because I feel like it could be used too cakey. Or foundation. This works well for liquid. You can just kind of like dot it on and then blend it. It's really good. Um, okay, drugstore product would be the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer. This is light to neutral 30 for me. Um, it's good and it has retinol in it, which is good for your skin. Um, that helps clear up scars and stuff. And it's just, there's something else too, but I don't know. I think it's helps with like um, cell turnover. And it's a 3-in-1 treatment, yes, yes. It's good, it's about 10 bucks or less if you can get it for cheaper. Um, Okay, another thing is the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Oil Free Foundation Primer. I approve of this. I think it's pretty nice. I got it in the smaller size because I didn't want to waste, or not waste, but spend a lot of money on it. So I got the smaller size to see how I like it. And I think it's pretty good. Um, one reason it's good to have a primer is because if you have problematic skin or just any type of issues with your skin, maybe it's irritation or something, Primer creates a barrier between your powder, your foundation, whatever, and your skin, so it doesn't like soak in, like get into your pores and stuff and clog it, which is good. And this also just like smooths out your face and makes anything you put over it look smoother and last longer. And it helps um, mattify your skin more. So that's the purpose of it. Um, okay, so mascara. There's two. The other one's kind of a dupe for the other. So the first one is the Fresh mascara. It's pretty expensive, but I had it in the smaller size and I loved it. This is like 25 bucks. It's expensive, I know, but I really, really like it. Um, I think it's really, really great. Um, you can't really tell. Not it doesn't like when you look at it like this. It doesn't look that nice, but I like it. Um, and then the the dupe, I guess, is full and soft mascara. For some reason, this tube, like it's been kind of like not working so well. It kind of clumps a little bit. Um, but it might just be this one brush because usually when I get it, it works really nice. And it's kind of like a dupe for this, the fresh one. It's not quite as good, but it is a good dupe because it's a lot cheaper. So I would definitely recommend trying this. It's really great and it looks natural on your lashes. Okay, so I've got a few more things here. And oh my gosh, I'm already at seven minutes. That's just crazy. I, I, I can't believe that. That's insanity right there. Okay, um... Twiliners Urban Decay 1 and 0. I use that for the top part of my eye. For lower part, which is like right here, I use the book some Insider Eyeliner. It's specifically made for that, for like the innerness of your bottom rim. And then it has its own little sharpener doodad, which I haven't used yet, but I think it's pretty nifty. I think a lot of eyeliners have that, but I never realized it because like I never thought to pull off the back, and for some reason I decided to do it this one. Um. Okay, the Anastasia Clear Brow, blah, 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 brow Definer. It's got this one side with a pencil and this other side with this thing. Pretty good. Um, what's also good is the the Revlon one. There's some Revlon Brow Definer. It's like has a highlighting side and then like a wax thingy and that works really good too. Um, last thing is this necklace that I really like. I got it from Brighton. Um, it has, it has like this little, little smiley face flower and a star charm and on the back it says backwards, but it says you make me smile and it's really cute. And yeah, if you want to see my outfit really quickly, um, I never really show it usually, but I've got this necklace, it's a little bouquet of flowers, it's from Forever 21. This is a shirt from this store called Cotton On. It's like Australian clothing. And it's just got like, I don't know how to describe it, but the sleeves kind of like fold up. My jeans are nothing special. They're just like skinny jeans. Sorry, I'm showing it like that. They're, they're, they're like lighter in the middle. I got them like really cheap at PacSun. And the bag that I would wear with this is my little Domo bag. I haven't taken the tag off yet because the tag's really cute and I don't want to get rid of it. But yeah, I'll be like this. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. Sorry it's so long. I had no idea it would be so long. Um, 
stay tuned for more you guys i hope you had a wonderful break and happy new year